Today, an updated forecast cone for a tropical system moving into the Gulf of Mexico. Blake, tell us about that new information. Well, the new information is that cone has shifted slightly to the south of Houston now, which is a big difference. The cone really hadn't shifted much over the past 24 hours. So today at four o'clock was the first sort of big shift that we have seen in that cone, and it did push it a little bit further south. Here is that cone right now. You can see that the storm is expected to just barely nick the Yucatan here as we get into the weekend with a 50 mile an hour tropical storm there. There is a hurricane watch in effect for the Cancun and Cozumel areas. Now, once the storm emerges in the Gulf of Mexico, it will briefly become a category one hurricane. At least that is the forecast, but that's problematic, and I'll show you why coming up here in just a moment. Now it will continue off towards the Texas coast, and if you look here, the cone almost entirely within the bounds of the state of Texas. So the Hurricane Center committing a little bit more to the state of Texas now. So we are looking at impacts from a strong tropical storm and or a weak hurricane by the time we get into the early part of next week. That does put Houston on the dirty side of the storm. This is where the, the minor surge would be strongest winds and the heaviest rain. So we're going to watch this very carefully. Here's a look at the computer models. They are everywhere from central Louisiana all the way down to Brownsville. Really not a good consensus on that whatsoever. Now the other storm that we're watching very carefully is Tropical Storm Laura, and this cone also has shifted significantly off to the west, now bringing a Category 1 hurricane close to the city of New Orleans. But if you were to drag that cone out a little bit, that would include southeast Texas. So with every single uh, update from the Hurricane Center has pushed this cone a little bit further to the west. So Laura is going to be one that we are going to want to watch very carefully as we head into the next couple of days. As far as Tropical Storm watches and warnings, you can see we do have a Tropical Storm warning in effect for the tip of the Yucatan. Underneath that is a Hurricane Watches. As well, and here's a look at that storm very poorly organized right now, but you'll notice this batch of thunderstorms right here that is actually firing up over the center of circulation. And if we uh, take the colors off, you can see this is what it would look like from space. And there's your center of circulation right there. So we are seeing some thunderstorms now beginning to develop around that center of circulation. That's exactly what you'd want to see for a developing tropical system. However, it becomes very problematic once it crosses the Yucatan into the Gulf of Mexico because a lot of wind shear is waiting for it to tear it apart as it pushes across the Gulf of Mexico and that wind shear is going to be with it almost its entire life as it pushes towards the Texas coast. So I at this time I do not think that it's going to be a strengthening hurricane upon approach to the Houston Galveston area or the central or lower Texas coast, but I think it's going to be a struggling tropical storm, maybe a weak hurricane when it gets here, mainly producing some very heavy rain. Now as we take a look at the chance of tropical storm force winds, you'll notice that if you watch me at noon, these chances were at about 18% for Galveston, so they've actually dropped a little bit 12% there for Freeport. So as we look ahead towards tropical depression number 14 impacts possible next week, continue to ready your hurricane supplies just in case and keep checking back at least twice a day. Now if and only if we were to get a direct hit from this storm, we're looking at 30 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts here in the city of Houston, minor storm surge, especially along Highway 87 there on the Bolivar, five to 10 inches of rain cannot totally be ruled out. There's a look at uh, tropical storm Laura right now, a developing system nonetheless, and that's going to be one of that's going to be a system that we're going to want to watch because you'll notice these computer models continue to trend further and further to the west in our general direction. No guarantees on that huge uncertainty with both systems uh, at this point. So 97 degrees we get into the weekend 98 on Monday. If Marco were to come our way 60% chance on Tuesday, we're watching out for Laura Thursday into Friday, a very busy next seven days, Russ.